Cleveland County has all the charm and beauty you would expect from a community here in the Carolinas. Today, they're enjoying a vibrant and thriving economy. But what about tomorrow? Many members of the community are looking at what they can do today to ensure Cleveland County continues to have a strong future. Go out and do, for example. Mm -hmm. Ronnie Hawkins is one of those people. He and others help champion the creation of the LeGrand Center, a multi-purpose facility designed to serve a variety of needs. Tell me what the LeGrand Center means, not in the past, but to the future. This is an economic development tool to bring other companies into Cleveland County to see that Cleveland County is a progressive community. So there wasn't a place really to do all that No, before. no, no, no. Ronnie took inspiration from the way others in Cleveland County had worked together to create new and innovative things. Uh, we've had people who championed the Don Gibson Theater. We've had people who have championed uh, Gateway Trails in Kings Mountain. We've had people who have championed the Earl Scruggs Center. When something is very important to them and they work hard, they make it happen. The goal with the LeGrand Center was to create a multi-purpose facility that could be made available to meet a wide variety of needs. Uh, available for the community, available for the college, available for what we call early college high school. Education is a key component in attracting businesses. Cleveland Community College works with the LeGrand Center to provide specialized business training. To head that program, they need someone who understood both education and the needs of business. And they didn't have to go far to find the perfect man in program director, Bruce Mack. I grew up in this area. Is that right? I've been here all my life, yes sir. How long have you been in education, Bruce? I started around 93 as an adjunct instructor here at the college teaching physics and classes in vocational um, while I was working in industry at the time. Here's a photograph here of what the college kind of started out as. Okay. The college was founded in 1965. The wing that we're in now is this is this wing here. Okay. Wow. And from what I, I was told there was little barns that they would have classes in. So now you've kind of seen the growth of where we are now. You got bigger barns now. Yes, bigger, bigger <laughs> barns, bigger classes. Tell me about why you think it's important to have this partnership between the community college and, and the businesses in the region? I never saw a training aspect, an intentional training aspect like I see today. And that training program has been paying off. Tavares Brooks is one of the graduates of the program who now works for Schletter, a German company with facilities here in Cleveland County. Schletter was one of the companies that reached out to the college to make specialized training classes available to their employees. Have you been involved with their training program here? Yes, sir. How was that? Helped me understand my job a whole lot more so I can be more efficient with what I'm doing. So when you look at you know, a place to work and, and you've got ongoing training available for you, do you think that creates a, a better environment for you and makes you want to be here more? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it makes me feel like I know what I'm doing, so if I know what I'm doing, I'm doing the job right, so yeah. Good company, great people. Yeah. I've enjoyed the whole time. It's been a good experience. Good experience. Okay. In addition to providing facilities for education, the LeGrand was designed to be a truly impressive business center. We set aside some rooms for economic development, and what we wanted to do was to make sure that when a client came in to Cleveland County, right that they were able to see this facility. So this was, this was not only to serve the community, but to impress those other people right. that were considering about making their, this their home. Precisely. So you've got a panel of people who are in economic development, and they spend their time trying to find other companies to come and make Cleveland County their home. Right. With a goal to diversify their business base, Cleveland County is prepared to train for any kind of work. So you service multiple industries then? Yes, we do. So it's your job to make sure that there are training programs that will meet the needs of the, of the company? That's correct. We try to stay ahead of the game in figuring out what's the next innovation, what's the next manufacturing solution. With so many industries relying more and more on automation, the college saw an opportunity where others may not have. Okay, let me show you our, our SIM lab. It's, SIM stands for Computer Integrated Manufacturing. Wow. Are Basically, these robots? Yes, they are. And what we've done here is we've, we've tried to create what we call an automated program. Okay. Now, there's a lot of companies now 
that's going into automation, try to provide that skill set so that these, these workers here in Cleveland County can go to work and, and make a nice living, a substantial living. Where we come into play, if it's an existing industry and they want to bring some of their technicians here to get trained, we can create a class and bring them out here and train them on this equipment. Yeah. And they'll be prepared for that particular industry. We don't want to go to Union County. We don't want to go to Raleigh or whatever and see what they have done. What we want to do is for them to come to see what we have accomplished. Has that happened? It has. has. Yes. Really? We do have people who have visions of where they want to be in the future and that we can work together with, in harmony and make things happen. It's like looking at a Renaissance story. Mm -hmm. I mean, do you see that? Yes, I see that. And the story is forever being told. Yeah. yeah. So tomorrow, even more. And even more. We got the infrastructure and people who are hardworking. Exactly. And willing to do what it takes. Exactly. Great. Thank you, Ronnie. This is Gardner Webb University. The very name itself speaks to great leaders from the past, and their mission here is to prepare leaders for the future. And I think that's what embodies the way Cleveland County operates. They have one foot firmly planted on the foundation of the past while they reach for the future. And that's what I love about Cleveland County.